we can see the CHR's interior has been thoroughly modernized with the inclusion of a digital instrument cluster, widescreen infotainment system, stubby electronic gear selector, segmented center console and blockier, more ergonomic dash buttons. The obligatory GR logo adorns the bottom of the leather-wrapped steering wheel and is complemented nicely by red accents on the dash, gear selector, and stitching. Integrated door handles reflect the heavy electrification bias of the second-generation CHR, which Toyota has already confirmed will be a hybrid-only model in Australia when it arrives here in the first half of next year, although a plug-in hybrid powertrain will be offered in other markets and a battery electric version will follow. Toyota Australia attributed this decision to the ever-increasing customer demand for hybrid vehicles down under, where nearly a third of the dominant Japanese brand sales last year were hybrids. Concrete details of the new CHR are still thin on the ground for the time being, but with the official reveal now only a few hours away we won't have long to wait long to get most of the answers we're looking for, so keep an eye out for all the official details throughout the day. Inside, the CHR has a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster ahead of the driver and a freestanding 12.3-inch infotainment system. A semi-digital instrument cluster and 8-inch infotainment unit are standard on lower grades, with all versions running Toyota's latest software with wireless Apple CarPlay, but Android Auto remains wired only for Australia. It has a new-look steering wheel similar to the Prius and Crown while the use of recycled plastics has doubled, with it now used in more than 100 different parts, including the seat upholstery. The panoramic sunroof is said to use an infrared reducing cost that has allowed Toyota to delete the sunshade, saving 5 kilograms, adding 30 millimeters of additional headroom, and reducing the need to use the air conditioning. Under the skin, the CHR's hybrid system includes fifth-generation electric components with a 4.08A lithium-ion battery and a new transaxle and power control unit. The 1.8-liter hybrid available in the GXL and Koba produces 103 kilowatts in total, up 15%, while the 2.0-liter system in the GR Sport introduces dual electric motors with all-wheel drive and a 145 kilowatts total system output. The Toyota CHR GR Sport's interior is sportier than that of any of the small SUV's other variants, with its unique black leather slash suede upholstery with white accents and stitching the obvious highlight. There are also front sport seats with GR badging, a sportier gear selector and aluminium pedals, with the Australian version missing out on the sports steering wheel with a GR logo that's available in some other markets. Step inside the cabin with its 2640mm wheelbase and you'll notice a 12.3-inch fully digital instrument cluster joined by a touchscreen of the same size. Fancier versions also get a head-up display, 64-color ambient lighting, a panoramic roof, and a JBL sound system. Unlike other brands, Toyota is not ready to give up on buttons for often-used functions, even though screens keep getting bigger with each generation of a new car. Red accents and a GR badge belong to a new GR Sport Premier Edition with sporty touches inside and out. There's plenty of new technology on board the new Toyota CHR, and the interior design has been completely overhauled. Atop the dashboard is a new 12.3-inch touchscreen infotainment system with wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and you have a 12.3-inch digital driver's display as well. You can get the new CHR with a digital key on your phone, and it can recognize who is driving and set the car up to your exact preference. This includes things like adjusting the seats and configuring the digital driver's display as you like it. As for the overall design, is a very driver-focused cabin with the major controls angled inwards towards the driver. It has a wraparound dashboard which separates the front seat occupants and makes it look sporty, and there are plenty of colorful accents to lift things. It's slightly less dramatic on the inside, where things are more in taking with other recent Toyotas. There are improvements to the materials, though, and a design that is more centered around the driver. All control elements are in the driver's zone for example. The 12.3-inch touchscreen takes center stage, while there is a range of new kit to play with, including up to 64 interior lighting settings. You can even set these to vary throughout the day as the hours pass, bright ones in the morning and more relaxing ones in the evening for example, 